So, Mr. Simmons, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, please tell My us, pleasure. please tell us what was, uh, how was your uh, first encounter with Christophoros um, upon uh, reading the script and uh, when you decided to do the movie? Well, that's an interesting uh, two aspects of that question because I did feel like I met him when I first read the script. You know, when when you really connect with what someone has written and their point of view, uh, then you, you do already feel a, a connection with that person. And then, uh, and then Christopher and I spoke on the phone as well, but the first time we actually met was uh, when I arrived in Athens. And, um, and this is not usually the case, but uh, the writer and director and star of the movie was also the person who... Uh, who came to greet me when I first landed in Athens and uh, take me to my hotel and um, help get me accustomed <laughs> to my new surroundings. Thank yeah, you very much. We, we were going uh, rounds and we walks around the Acropolis, the museum, actually most of the places that we have in Athens. We went to Plaka. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. writer, director, star, tour guide, <laughs> translator, yeah, I, I, I was trying to make him feel comfortable, you know, you know, and then we had all the rehearsals with Maria at home. And right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that was a funny thing, yeah, because Maria was talking Greek, JK was trying to understand what Maria was telling him, and it was... Uh, <laughs> it was uh, life imitating art. Exactly. Uh, tell me, what yes. was your uh, initial reaction to the screenplay and how was your experience working in Greece, interacting with Greek and, you know, uh, it was an international cast, but you interacted with uh, uh, Maria Cavoyani especially and uh, Christopher, of course. Um, I forget the first part of the question already, but, oh, the script. Yes. The, the script is uh, almost always the the thing that draws me to a project and um and as i said i had just spoken with my agent a few days before he sent this script and one of the things that i said i would i would really like to find was a a nice love story for 60 year olds and uh and he sent christopher's script worlds apart and i i, I read the first story and and the second story it's really a, a triptych i call it uh, uh you know, three stories that that then connect, and um, each of them is is unique, but uh, has a different take on on love, and uh, it just happens to be in in Christopher's stories between a a Greek character and an immigrant character. In my case, a German, uh, and I thought the way that the stories are woven together was uh, was brilliant and beautiful, and um, and as usual, it's. Uh, if the script is something I really fall in love with, uh, then I want to go do the job. And what's your experience working uh, on a Greek set in Greece? You stayed for how many days? It was 10 days, I think, your stay in Greece? Yeah, I, uh, the good news, bad news is I, because I have a wife and kids here in LA and I try not to be away too much, um, we were able to sort of pack all of my work into a, a brief period. So my time in Greece was really just working, working, working. And then uh, my one day off, uh, Christopher o took me around and we saw some of the sights. And uh, other than that, I was, I was just on the set. And the set itself was um, the, what, what I always hoped to find in an in independent film in the, in the States, which was, uh, you know, there's, there's enough um, production value and, and money to uh, to hire you know professionals and people who really know what they're doing, but it also has that sense of everyone is there because they're passionate about making this film and it's not like a big studio movie where a lot of people are just kind of sometimes <laughs> showing up to work and getting their big paycheck and <laughs> and uh, and maybe their heart is not in it as much. Uh, a question for both of you. Um, how would you describe each other uh, since you work together? Um, you, Mr. Simmons, as an actor, and you, Christophoros, as a lot of things. Oh, you go first. 
Uh, shall I go first? <laughs> okay, then. Uh, the whole experience working with uh, JK was amazing, not only because I had the opportunity to work with JK Simmons, but because I worked with, uh, with a man who is gifted, talented, he's an amazing artist, and a very generous and very kind person and he and he liked he really liked uh, he really believed in the script and in everything that we are doing here in Greece so it was it was an honor and thank you uh, likewise first of all <laughs> and I, I was just I was just thinking as I said uh, this might be the first time that I've worked with uh, a person who is the writer and the director and also, you know, starring or playing one of the leading characters in a movie. And uh, Christopher and I as actors interact only very, very briefly in the film. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to work with him other than half a day as an actor. But, uh, but that experience was lovely too because it was after we'd been shooting a few days and, and we'd uh, connected and uh, gotten to, uh, to know each other a little bit and to respect each other and um and that was a, a lovely day on the set um as a writer and director i i generally prefer to work with a director who was also the writer of, of a story and um and that was definitely the case here because for him to be wearing all three of those hats um it, it takes a a special kind of person but but the good news about that is that is that you know you're dealing with the person who this organically this story came from him and uh and it gives from my perspective it gives him uh an extra credibility that you uh when he talks about where the story is going or what he wants or or who the, who the character is where he's coming from then you tend to believe him the, the dialogue between you and Maria Cavogliani as written is um, touching, is humorous, is almost surreal because you, you, you apparently you come from different worlds, from another world uh, uh, compared to each other. And it's also the, the lack of communication which plays very well, I think, in the film. Uh, how much of it was authentic? That is, she was talking in Greek, um, intertwined with some English, and you were talking in English with a German accent, which was, by the way, very convincing. You had a coach, I guess. And, uh, I, was, and I was translating to each other. Yeah, somebody had to translate for each other. That was me. <laughs> that was you. That was Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> And that, how, was, that was another hat that Christopher wore. Yeah. He was also the translator. Yeah. How did it play for you? Did you want to know everything that was uh, delivered by you, the full meaning, or did you want to stay in character? That is, know as little as you want, as you as you could, in order to keep the expression of you know of awe and a little bit of you know uh, surprise. Yeah, it was uh, it was actually that's an interesting question and. I did find that uh, both on camera and off camera, uh, communicating with Maria was uh, was challenging and um, <laughs> amusing and sweet. And so when Sebastian, my character, was sort of watching her talk, it, it, it didn't even have to do with trying to understand her, especially at first, you know. He was just so taken with her and with uh, how charming and sweet and kind and loving uh, Maria, the character, is um, that it didn't it didn't matter what the words were that were coming out of her mouth. He, the intention was, uh, if not clear, <laughs> it was uh, it was something he could he could relate to and just appreciate. And it was like, oftentimes I I found myself sitting there just looking at her like you would look at a work of art or or like you would uh, watch uh, you know the ocean at the beach or watch children playing or something that you just really enjoy watching do you feel that worlds apart this uh, film by christophorus papakaliatis is a film capable of traveling abroad of being appreciated by audiences which are not greek 
I absolutely, uh, when I read the script, that was one of the things that I found so appealing about it. And it's, you know, on the, on the one level, it's a very international story because it takes place in Greece, but in each of the stories, there is a, a foreigner, a, a, an immigrant, uh, a, a German, uh, an English woman, and a, a Syrian. Um, so that is kind of an obvious international appeal to the movie, but the more subtle international appeal of the movie, I think it has nothing to do with politics or economics or all of the unrest. Uh, it's just about uh, the universality of the love stories. Your segment is called uh, Second Chance. Uh, do you believe in second chance? And would we, if we try to link it to love, would we be precise? I think uh, second chance in, in this case is uh, the perfect, wonderful title for, for our little part of the story. And certainly, uh, I've been the uh, the beneficiary of uh, second chance and third and fourth and fifth and sixth. You know, we, maybe we should make sequels because uh, in my own life, certainly, my wife has given me many, many second chances. Great. Uh, what do you keep from uh, your Greek experience, from the film and the shooting of the film with Christophoros? Uh, what do you remember? I remember mostly uh, uh, friendly people and uh, Christopher was certainly among them and, uh, and all of the, the crew and uh, the f I didn't get to meet a lot of people outside of uh, the cast and crew and uh, Christopher, but um, there was just a, and I know obviously, uh, you know, I was there about a year ago. Um, I know the times in Greece are difficult still and, and were difficult then and it was a different place than it had been five or ten years previously but from my perspective being there for the first time I was I was mostly um, really affected by the uh, the openness and the, and the beauty and the, and the friendliness that's great you want to say something mm -hmm. no it, it was that we had a lot of food actually <laughs> that's good that as well yeah we were reading all day but apart from walking uh yeah it was like i said before it was an amazing experience not only for me for the whole crew i mean when he left the whole crew was so disappointed because they all liked him very much and they were depressed because uh, jk left that's why Mr. Simus doesn't travel much, because he doesn't want to, you know, leave people depressed after his departure. That's why. That's why you stick to Los Angeles. Um, I don't know if you want to add something. I, I, it was great meeting you, uh, even uh, by Google Hangout. Yeah. Uh, but um, what can I say? Uh, we hope to see you very soon in Greece, and we wish you the best for, uh, for uh, you know, your next projects. Thank you. Thank and you thank you for this, Christopher. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.